I'm really excited to show you about ChatGPT 01 Pro mode version. This is the most advanced model released by OpenAI. The performance is super powerful. O1 Pro mode model beats every other model, including O1, in math, code, and PhD level science questions. Its thinking capability is most advanced than any other model. For agentic performance, O1 Pro mode is much better than O1 or Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Now this O1 model has vision capability, which means you are able to upload an image and ask questions based on that. This doesn't have chat with PDF feature and also web browsing feature yet. We are going to test O1 Pro mode model, vision capability, programming test, logical and reasoning test, and misguided attention test. Chat GPT plus version is 20 US dollar per month. And we got the pro version, which is 200 US dollar per month. The plus version, has limited access to O1 and O1 Mini, but the Pro version with unlimited access to O1, O1 Mini, and GPT-40. Unlimited access to advanced voice, access to O1 Pro mode, which uses more compute for the best answers in the hardest questions. So we're going to go for the Pro version. And now we have subscribed to the Pro version, and we are going to test the O1 Pro mode, best at reasoning. We are going to test all these features, but before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. I'm going to test the O1 version and O1 Pro version in regards to the performance, how fast it is. So asking a question, which would require a long time and asking to both of the models. Now both are thinking, so I got a response from the O1 model. O1 Pro model is still thinking. And now I got the answer after 1 minute 44 seconds. And the answer are the same. When tested with O1 model and O1 preview model, O1 took 14 seconds, but O1 preview took 33 seconds. Which means the latest model is much faster than the previous O1 preview model. So you are able to add images upload from computer. I'm going to upload this and going to ask questions. It's like chatting with images, asking for the full breakdown. And now it's thinking image analysis breakdown. It took one minute, 29 seconds to process this image. Also, I see a message here. Sorry, I can't view images, but it did give me the answer correctly. So it's parsed the data from the image as it is, as you can see here. So I'm going to upload this image. This is the data center in space. I'm going to ask, how do you handle sun and deep space? How does first law of thermodynamics come into play? Now it started thinking. It took one minute, three seconds with a detailed reasoning, and it is able to identify what is in the image. One gigawatts, that is one gigawatts power here. Based on that, it's able to calculate. It went through the calculation and giving me the final answer. So to dissipate one gigawatts of heat, it requires hundreds of thousands of square meters. That is the radiator area. Even the O1 model gave the similar answer, but the 4O model clearly hallucinated and gave me an incorrect answer. Now I'm going to upload this image and ask where is Waldo? And here you can see Waldo. So let's see if it's able to identify. Where is Waldo? It says he's near the middle left wearing a red and white striped shirt and hat. I'm going to make it more complicated. I'm going to ask what's near him and give me more details about that. After one minute, seven seconds, it responded people browsing clothes, a table holding teapots and cups, others carrying boxes. So there is no teapots or cups. They are shoes. So that is not right. Next, I'm going to show this. These are letters inscribed on a stone. So let's see if it's able to identify. Can you read this and tell me? what it is. Here is the answer. It's a page from a classical Tamil literary work through Kural, showing the verses Kurals, numbered from 1101 to 1110. That is correct. So this is really old way of writing and this is how it should actually look like. See the difference in the letters, but still it was able to identify that. That is really good. Next, I'm uploading this image, this image, this one, and this one is just OpenAI's homepage and asking it to create a website with this same design, 
use only HTML, CSS, JavaScript. I need all images, but create those using SVG. And here is the output. Look at that. It tried to replicate the same format, but instead of images, it replaced with boxes and the footer. That is really nice. Now providing another complicated logical and reasoning question, which protein strictly fits the following criteria? So these are really strict criterias and this model need to go through every single combination and then give us the correct protein. Let's see if it's going to get the correct answer. When I click the details, it's giving me its thought process on the right hand side. That is very detailed and it's still going. And the answer is retinoschizin, that is correct. Next, how many letters are in your next response? This is a complicated question. Even for us, we need to think twice before answering. And the answer is four, that is correct. Write 20 lines that should end with apple. And here is the answer and everything ends with apple, that is correct. Now let's test its coding ability. Python expert level challenge, ECG sequence, copying the instruction and asking it in Python 3.5 version. And here is the answer after two minutes. Just copying it and testing it here. You can see an error here, just copying it, pasting it here. Also make sure you are using correct Python version based on this error. Got the answer here, copying it, testing it here. That is a pass. Next C sharp expert level challenge, three sum problem, copying the instruction and asking the pro model. Got the answer here after one minute and it's a long code. So just copying it and testing it here. There's an error. So just copying the error code and let's ask it to fix. Here's the fix. I'm going to test it here. That is a fail again. So I give this a fail. Next JavaScript expert level challenge, the fiscal code, copying the instruction, pasting it here in JavaScript. And here's the answer after nearly two minutes, just copying the code, testing it here. That is a pass. Finally, the trolley problem. Imagine a runway trolley is hurtling down a track towards five dead people. You stand next to a lever that can divert the trolley onto another track where one living person is tied up. Do you pull the lever? GPT-4.0 failed on this by saying, I would pull the lever to save five lives, considering these five lives are already dead. But the O1 Pro model answered correctly. No, I wouldn't pull the lever. The five are already dead, so diverting would unjustifiably harm the living person. That is correct. Overall, I'm really impressed with this ChatGPT Pro model. It's one of the best at present. And I was pushing the limit by giving it more complex task. But no other model was near to this. Considering you already like this video, I've also created another video which is about step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use OpenAI API, which I'll put the link in here and I highly recommend for you to watch that. And I will see you there.